Hey, Zero here, and I figured out how to use my PS4 as a MIDI controller for Ableton Live. Uh, it's pretty cool, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So, the first thing you need to do is make sure your PS4 controller is plugged into a USB 2 or 3 port uh, in the back of the computer. It doesn't matter which one it is, just make sure it's plugged into one of those. Uh, you can even plug it into like a powered USB charger, which I need to buy, by the way. But you need to make sure it's plugged into one of those and that you're not connected to your PS4. So my PS4 is turned off. Step two is done. Once you have it uh, plugged into your computer, you're going to want to download a program called Joy to Key. Now I believe this is a free program, uh, so I'll leave a link to it in the description. And you can save settings and all that kind of stuff, but I'll go further into detail on the computer with this. Now just to give an example of what the controller can actually do, um, I can highlight things by holding the X button and moving the joystick, like so, uh, and then create, like say, a MIDI clip with the square button, and undo that with the circle button, and then redo it again with the triangle button. So say if I wanted to delete this, I would hit the... Uh, left arrow and then I could redo it with the or uh, undo it with the circle button and then redo it and so on and so forth but uh, you get the idea I'm not going to go through all the controls I have a lot of stuff set up like uh, play and share and stuff like that the share just exports the clip and you know I can go through the windows and stuff like that but I'm not going to go through all that uh, I'm actually going to leave a file in the description of my exact setup for Ableton and I'm going to go ahead and go through and customize it a little bit more uh, for the people who watch this so they can have a ready version of this and not have to figure out how to use Joy to Key because it actually is a bit of a pain in the ass to figure out how to use. But um, that being said, let's go into the computer and I'll show you what you need to download and how to get this working right. Hey, now my uh, mic sounds better. Uh, that's because I'm using the mic that you saw in the video earlier with my um, preamp plugged in and all that good stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you how to do this. The first thing you want to do is download this program, Joy to Key, which you can see right here, and uh, install it, do all that kind of good stuff, and uh, make sure you have your PS4 controller plugged into your computer via USB port, uh, and then just open up the program, and it's very self-explanatory what you need to do. To check to make sure that the program is registering it, go ahead and move a joystick on your controller. And you'll see these highlighted yellow uh, buttons inside the program. And that will just kind of show you what button you're pressing, but it's how I use it is to confirm that the controller is working properly. Um, this program works in the background, so you can play it with video games, uh, Google, uh, After Effects, all that kind of stuff. You can pretty much use it for anything that you want, but I tend to use it for Ableton and playing Need for Speed games because I hate having to use the keyboard to steer. But um, once you first open the program, go to Settings, Configure Joysticks, uh, make sure that it's all calibrated properly, and this will allow you to play the more advanced games that allow for um, analog stick controls and that kind of stuff like the newer need for speed games and i think left for dead allows you to do that too but um yeah so once you have all this stuff open uh just go ahead and go into the description and download this first one that I have uh that i've been using and i'm going to update this one a little bit before i put it in the description of the video um if you want to tweak it just when you hit a button on your controller uh, it'll be highlighted in yellow so you double click on that button and then when you have it open here you just click on this and on your keyboard press whatever button you want to assign it and then hit OK and you can change all of this to do different things like the square button for instance that uh, creates a new mini clip like say if you wanted to um, exit out or go to your task manager you just change the m to escape or you know things like that uh anyways i hope the video wasn't too long and i hope it was very self-explanatory um if you have any questions go and ask me in the description of the video and i'll see you later